Today we'd like to take a look at removing a casement sash from the frame and the easiest steps, the best way to go at it to make it as simple as possible. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take a screwdriver and remove the operating arms from the sash. This one here will just put it in between, you push it down and it will just snap apart and then there would be one that would connect to the bottom of the sash. At that point in time, you're going to take and rotate this arm so that the main arm here is clear of the track down here. There's a cutout at the bottom here where the glide will slide out once you have that out. So once you have your operating arms out of the way, you're going to take and remove the bottom stabilizer arm the same way. You're going to put the screwdriver between the stabilizing arm and the frame and pry upward and pry that loose and flip it out of the way and then hanging on to the sash, being very careful to hang on to that, you're going to move to the top and you're going to do the same thing, removing that stabilizer bar by just prying that apart. Before I move on to the actual sash removal, I want to make you aware of a change in the stabilizer and operating bar retainer clips on some windows. You'll need a screwdriver that you can use to put into the groove and you can slide that back out of the way and then just lift it up and off. And then for the operating arms, that has a clip that swings out away, and that one you just pry out and you remove it like that. Once you've got that point, what you wanna do is bring this side of the sash over towards the center, slide it out of the track, and lift it up and away. The one thing that you're gonna to wanna to do if you're replacing the sash there is a guide down here that slides in this track. You're going to want to remove that from the track and reinsert it into the new sash, okay? Because this is where the pin here will connect into. So you want to make sure that you have that, you don't lose that, because the new sash won't come with that guide in there, that plastic guide. So at that point in time, then you're ready to reinstall your sash. Again, with, with everything clear at the bottom, I found that if you set the bottom on and then line up your top. You're going to need to take that, that guide up here and turn it so that it lines up with the track. And you're going to slide it in. And then you line up the bottom one also. And it has to be rotated so that it glides in there. And you're going to slide that over. And then the first stabilizer bar you're going to reattach is your top one. Once you have that one on, you've got a little bit of control of the sash and you can let that go and not worry about it falling out. Then you're going to want to take the bottom stabilizer bar, bring it over, rest it on top of the cam stud, and push it down, snap it into place. So now your sash is in, it's stabilized. At that point in time, you're going to use your handle to rotate this as you need to. You can move your sash to line that up and snap the arm onto the pin down here, and then rotate this, move your sash around to line up to go into the guide at the bottom down here, at the, and that's just, that's movable in and out. And once you have that snapped in, then you're going to just rotate this closed, and you're going to double check your locks, make sure everything's functioning there. This one is functioning well. Um, if there is an issue with the, the sash alignment, sometimes you can have a little bit of different uh, shape in that sash. Usually they're very close. You do have your cam studs here that um, if you need to adjust those, you can use a, a cam stud wrench. You can put it in there or you can pop it off. You can use a vice grip to turn that. And what that will do is it moves that cam stud. It can move it a little to the left or a little to the right. And with that stabilizer bar attached both here at the bottom and also up here at the top, that will adjust that sash within the frame just slightly as needed. Once you have that all done um, and you have that adjusted, you should be good to go. I thank you for watching this video today. If you have any other questions, feel free to visit Provia.com.